KH-TV.com. What are you looking at? Hey guys, it's Jasmine with the Foreign Exchange, and I am super excited to bring you a great treat today. As you know, I began this foreign exchange journey in 2009 as a foreign exchange student in Taiwan. Today, I'm going to introduce you to other foreign exchange students here in Houston that represent the AUSA organization. Stay tuned on the Foreign Exchange. Taiwan women get down They stare when I come around I judge you I'm here today with students of the AUSA organization, foreign exchange students from countries all over the world. And as you know, I did a foreign exchange student program in Taiwan, so I'm very excited and happy to introduce you to my friend Charlotte, who's actually here from Taiwan doing a foreign exchange program. Hi, Charlotte. Hi. How are you? Good, pretty good. So can you tell us a little bit about your experience here in America as a foreign exchange student? Um, for school, I'm really excited. Like, first I came here, I was really, really excited, but I have a hard time because when I came, I can't, like, I don't know what you guys talking about. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Even I want to talk to my friend, I can't. So you speak Mandarin or Cantonese? I speak Mandarin. Okay, what part of Taiwan are you from? Taipei. What do you like the most about your, study, your student life here? Is the school great? Yeah, the school. I like the school here. I like my friends. Like, it's just completely different. It's a different world for me. What school do you go to? Sai Lakes. Do you like the food here, American food? Yeah, I love like my house family. My mom can cook. That was so good. Oh my god, that was good. <laughs> Would you recommend being a foreign exchange student? Yeah. Of course. Actually, I want to come back for college if I can. I really want to come back for college. Fans of this show have heard a lot about Taiwan because I'm in love with Taiwanese and Chinese culture. But what can you tell us? What can you offer about your culture that you think is significant? Mm, of course, Chinese Happy New Year. Yeah, Chi and we have a lot of special festival like Moon Festival and Dragon Festival. So do you prefer Chinese New Year or American New Year? Um, we have American New Year's too. But like, I love Chinese New Year because you know we have a red envelope. We can get money. Exactly. Thank you so much, Charlotte, and I hope you enjoyed your time here. Check out this clip of me and my time in Taiwan. It is still Chinese New Year. And today is Monday. And a lot of people are here, so I'm just gonna go downstairs. Julia, a foreign exchange student from Germany. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. What school are you studying at? Um, I'm going to Siren Chai School. Do you like it there? I love it. Your favorite part about the school? I love the photography apartment. I love it. Tell me a little bit about Germany. What's the culture like? It's different in America. <laughs> like everything is different. The school is way harder than here. We don't have all this fun stuff like football, baseball. This team feeling, this like team spirit, I think that's a big part of an American school and I think it's awesome. How do you like the American food here? Do you miss the German cuisine? I kind of miss my mom's food. <laughs> what made you want to study in America? Mm, I always wanted, like I love 
I love to go out of the country. Is there anything you want to say to other students who really have this passion of becoming a foreign exchange student? Do it. It's like, it's, you have so many more opportunities. You can speak another language like perfectly. You get to know so many awesome people and you live with a host family. It's just, it's, it's awesome. Can you teach us how to say something in German? Okay. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. What is? Hello. Hello. Guten Tag. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Julia. Thank you. Hey. What is this? What is this? Hey guys, I'm here with Ariane and Jaquero, the host family of Charlotte. How did you get involved with the AUSA organization and hosting foreign exchange students? We were actually referred to the program by a mutual friend um, that is a community representative for AUSA. Have you enjoyed your hosting experience? We have. It was very interesting just having um, a student from a different country living with us and sharing her traditions and food and just everything with us and then also being able to reciprocate that with her. What has, I know you guys have spoken a lot about her time here in America and she shared with me that she loves your cooking. So <laughs> can you just share with us you know, what you've been cooking in your home? Well, we, ha we have had the famous waffles. <laughs> Mom's favorite famous yes, waffles. <laughs> wow, so you have a specialty, waffles. Yes. All of the girls love the waffles. And what is it like being a host sister? I love Charlotte and just like she is so fun and whenever she like teaches us about Taiwan and then we can teach her things about America that she didn't know and it's just fun. Wow, so do you have any plans on traveling to Taiwan to maybe visit her and her family? Yes, we want to go see Charlotte, we really do, because we're like, Charlotte, you can't leave us, so we want to go see her sometime. Now, being that you're hosting someone of another culture, she told us earlier that, you know, when she first got here, there was a language barrier. We would always um, assume that she was understanding everything that we were communicating to her, but we shortly found out that that was not the case. It was a good experience. I encourage anyone that can to do it. La Visa. I had a mistake saying it earlier, but it's just so lovely. La Visa rolls off the tongue. So what can you tell us about Sweden? Um, well, it's cold, I guess. Um, it's very pretty. <laughs> what part of Sweden are you from? Uh, Gothenburg. Gothenburg. Where's that? North or south? It's south. Uh, southwest, actually. So. Have you enjoyed your time here in America? I have. It's been awesome. What's been your most, your most inspiring moment, the part that stands out the most in your mind? Um, probably like all the small things, like not the like, ooh, going there and seeing that, but like the small things, like the everyday things. What school do you attend? Faith West Academy. Do you like it there? I do. Everyone's been super nice to me and, you know, just taking care of me. Would you encourage other students to become international students or foreign exchange students? Totally. Uh, it's, it's awesome. You get to, uh, like, not only study the culture, but actually live it and, you know, see everything, hear everything. and So in, in, in Sweden, do they speak English? Mm -hmm. And what's the education like there? We call our teachers by first name, not last name. Um, so it's very informal? Yes, it is. And people often ask me, like, well, how do you show them respect? But I usually say, like, well, I call my friends by first name, and I still respect them, so, you know. This is Jasmine, and this is my class. 
and we are doing the trick or treat presentation. Everybody say hi. Hi. And here is our first stop. Roy, one of my teacher's assistants. E R stand trick or treat. No my feet. Give me something good to eat. Sway. Everybody line up. Ego. Uh. Open your bag. Daikai to go. To go. Go. Faster. Hun kwai. Hun kwai. Hun kwai. Go. Hun kwai. Hun kwai. Hun kwai. Hun kwai. I'm here with two of the student ambassadors of the AUSA organization. What's your name? Maya. Jalen. Jalen and Maya. So are you guys related? No. Best friends? Okay. What does it mean exactly to be um, an ambassador with the foreign exchange students? It's just like the foreign exchange students who come, we help them get adjusted and we talk to them if they need help or anything like that. And we also like hang out with them because they come with like no friends, they don't know anyone. So we just like a friend for them and a shoulder, someone to talk to. Do you guys have any plans on becoming a foreign exchange student yourselves? I want to do it during the summer and go to somewhere different. I don't know. I think it would be cool to experience how Charlotte felt and all that stuff like that. So what do you guys think about the um, foreign exchange experience as a whole? I learned that everyone is different. Like our cultures and stuff are so different. You have to be patient. Yeah, basically what she said. What she said, the best friends that think alike. Thank you guys so much and I commend you for doing what you do and doing it well with these foreign exchange students. We are going to another celebration and she wants to be well, she won't let me drive again, but I drove already, and she says she wants to live, so I don't know what that means, because I'm good, right? You have to do it. No. <laughs> I'm very good. Miss Heather of the AUSA organization and I'm just so honored to be in your presence. You do such an amazing job with these students. Can you tell me a little bit about the organization and what you do for AUSA? Um, AUSA, I'm the regional director for um, the whole Houston area which covers halfway to Austin, halfway to San Antonio, halfway to Dallas, huge area. Um, and we've been, um, this is our 30th year with uh, all the students. We have over 60 countries we bring students from and we send them abroad as well. Um, I've, I'm also a host parent, so I've hosted this is my first year, but we um, find families for them and let them come and live the American dream for a year. Speaking from a host family perspective, what has been your major difficulty, if any, with these students? Um, it's really just learning the different cultures and the way that we do things differently. Everybody's will be doing something simple, something as simple as um, let's go get a snow cone. They didn't, she didn't know what a snow cone was. We had to explain a snow cone, which was a lot to me. I was like, okay. So something that simple that you don't think anything about. Tell us a little bit about how other families can become a part of the organization. It's AUSA.org. AUSA.org. A-Y-U-S-A.org. Oh, and this is on a high school level or? Ages 15 to 18. Great. Thank you so much, Miss Heather. <laughs>